No. Hello, I'm Mr. Tan. Today we are doing topic for ratio for Brahmi 6. The objective is to relate ratio and fraction and do equal fraction work problem. So example 1, you can see that Shirley has 2 matter, Melvin has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So Shirley to Melvin is 2 to 5. In fraction, we put it as the number of matter Shirley has is 2 out of 5 of the number of matter Melvin has. So the numerator we find to the first quantity, the second uh, quantity in the denominator referring to the Mervyn. Okay, let's move on. Example 2, 5 out of 6 of Jackie height is equal to 2 third of his mother height. So the difference in the height is 3 out of 10 meter. What is Jackie height? So you do model, right? What you need to do is make sure your 5 out of 6, right? the 5 unit is the same as the mother 2 out of 3. Then you start to compare 5 and 2, you start divide by 2, get 10, start divide by 5, get 10 also. So straight away, 2, start divide by 2, start divide by 5, you can see very clearly that when you compare, the 3 units is 3 out of 10 meter. So you want to put a meter here. Then 1 unit is 3 out of 10 meter divided by 3, 1 out of 10 meter. So you want you can put out 10 meter. Then they ask for Jackie height. Jackie is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So 1 10 meter times 12, answer is 1 whole 1 feet. Then if you use equal fraction, you will be faster because you don't need to draw model. But make sure that the numerator, so you say 5 out of 6 is equal to 2 out of 3. So make sure your numerator is the same. So that's equal. So you times 2, get 10 out of 12. Times 5, you get 10 out of 15. That means that Jackie is 12 unit, mother is 15 unit. Then you compare, 15 minus 12 is 3 unit. So back to the same working. 3 unit is 3 10 meter. Then you find 1 unit and Jackie is 12 unit. Answer is 1 whole 1 fifth meter. Okay, now come to the practice question. Take some time to work out the practice question now. Okay, so I will do now. So ratio of the number of ruler to the number of pens is 3 out of 8. So they ask what fraction of the pen, of the pen, mean denominator is pen, so it's 8. So numerator is ruler, answer is 3 out of 8. Question 2. So to save time, I will use equal fraction. You say that there are 115 cars and motorcycle. So 2 unit is must be equal to 3 unit. So I put first car and motorcycle here. So 2 out of 5 must be same as 3 out of 4. How? Mean the numerator the same. So times 3, I get 6 out of 15. Times 2, I get 6 out of 12. Can you see? It's equal now the numerator. That means that car has 15 units altogether. Motorcycle has 12 units altogether. So 15 plus 12, that gives me 27 units. 27 units equal to 115 cars and motorcycle. So one unit will be 115 divided by 27 equal to 5. Eh, one one five divided by this. First calculator. Okay, so I think why well, yeah, um thumb three six out of fifteen thumb two oh here I made a mistake. Here is a eight. So fifteen plus eight twenty three. So it's twenty three unit. So 115 divided by 23 is 5. Okay, then for car, there are 15 units, huh? denominator 15. So 15 units will be 5 times 15, 75. So there are 75 cars in the car park. Thanks. Nice.
mastery level two. Mastery level two. The objective is to find the ratio of two quantity and solving work problem involving two quantity. Example one. To make one portion of dough, Susan makes five cup of flour with every three cup of water. Find the ratio of the amount of flour used to the amount of water used. So answer is five to three. Part B. Susan want to make five portion. So maybe you like to highlight the keyword. One portion of dough is five cup of flour, three cup of water. Now they talk about five portion of the dough. So five nine. So five times five twenty five cup of flour. Five times three sixty cup of water. So there are various type of ratio of problem. Try to find out what is the thing that that is the same. Is it one thing is the same or total amount is the same or we talking about each? Like difference is the same or both thing are the same in the beginning, both thing are the same in the end, or one number in both ratio is the same. If nothing is the same, we can use guess and check or algebra manipulation. So let's do look at one of the question called one thing is the same. Trina place some green and red apple in a basket. So the ratio of the number of green apple to the number of red apple is two to one. So now she place chop more red apple. So the ratio become four to five. How many green apple were in the basket? So you realize that you only place chop more red apple. So the green apple should be the same, right? So can you see the before that the green is two unit. After that, the green is four unit. It should be the same. So what you need to do is take the ratio times two here, and now it's the same. You see, four to two, four to five. The green is four unit, and we compare the red five minus two three unit. Three unit the chop more red apple. So the one unit will be chop divided by three four and four unit four times four sixteen green apple in the basket. Now take some time to do question one. So I will use ratio method with before and after. So try to solve faster than me. So I got the answer. So it says sixty two liters was sold means that the roses remain the same. So my roses two and six, I make it the same six. So the ratio for before should be six to nine. After that becomes six to five. So from nine unit to five unit, okay, because four unit of the two liters sold. That's how I get four unit equals sixty. Then I find one unit fifteen and five roses at the store with six unit. I get ninety. Now we come to question two. So try to solve faster than me. Okay, so I have the answer for question two, forty eight. So before that, a to b, he mentioned that same. Same means one to one. Then after that, become three to five. But do you realize that Ben took chop marble for Ali, and the total is still the same for Ali and Ben. 
So, total here is two units, total here is eight. To make it the same, I just multiply by four. So, the correct ratio for before is four to four. Then, from four to three, what happened? Or from four to five, what happened? Because one unit is the 12 numbers. Then, to find each of them have F, at first, which is the four units, so 12 down four, 48 numbers. Now, we come to mastery level three. The objective is to compare ratio of three quantity. So example one, we have Gina can three to two, can to really four to five. Then you talk about Gina can Wenxin score three sixty point. What is the ratio of Gina score to Wenxin score? So three to two and four to five, you realize that the same person appear. That is can. So can is two unit. Now can become four unit, but it should be the same, right? So what I need to do, I just simply multiply by 2, so the correct ratio will be 6 to 4, followed by 4 to 5. Then with the ratio of Gina and Wenxi is 6 to 5. Then it mentioned that all together, 360 points, with 6 plus 4 plus 5, 15 units. And 1 unit will be 24, and they ask for, uh, okay here there's some typo, it's not, uh, it's not Wenxi, eh? Okay, some error over down here. Is it really a one sink? Okay, so maybe we just change all change all really to one sink can. Yeah, change this to one sink. So one sink is five unit. So that is 120 point. Okay, now it's the turn. Try to do faster than me for this question. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I got the answer seven hundred and fifty dollars. So, do you realize that bot appear twice? So, Xavier to bot is three to eight, but bot to uh Zender to be eight to four. So it says Xavier and Zender paid three hundred fifty dollar. So Xavier is three unit, Zender is four unit. So that's seven unit. Seven unit equal three hundred fifty dollar. One unit equal fifty dollar. All together is three plus eight plus four fifteen. That is seven hundred fifty dollar. With that, we come to the end. Remember to practice on our e-learning website at www.studysingaporemax.com Thank you and wish you a good day ahead. Goodbye.